If you're watching this, you're probably as curious as I am about these amazing birds, corvids, which include jays, magpies, crows, ravens, and dozens of other species. I started the Crow Box Project a while back because I noticed that corvids were one of a handful of animal families that was actually thriving while living alongside human beings. What made this so interesting to me was that, beyond being wicked smart, corvids pass on learning culturally. This, plus their booming populations, made me wonder if we couldn't train them to do something useful. Could we find a way to work together in a direct symbiotic relationship that would benefit the both of us? How would we even begin? Given their incredible smarts, their capacity to pass along what they learn to others, and their booming populations worldwide, the obvious solution, to me at least, was a vending machine. One that trained crows to pick up lost coins in exchange for peanuts. And so the crow box was born. The first design of the crow box didn't get much traction, and I realized after its release that we hadn't done enough testing and development to make something that could be both easily assembled and that was tough enough to withstand the abuse of wild birds in the field. So we spent the years since then updating and improving it. Through more than a dozen iterations, the current crow box was designed to support both hobbyists and hardcore engineering geeks. Yeah, you'll have to know which end of a soldering iron to use or have a friend who does, but our hope is that with our instructions and some time, the crow box can be available to anybody. What's more, the crow box is built upon our new Crow S operating system software, meaning that with a little programming code, you can add, augment, or alter the system however you like. And everything's available as downloadable open source, both hardware and software, freely available to anyone who wants it. Here's how it works. In stage one, the crow box is basically just a bird feeder with its reward basket wide open, encouraging birds to regard it as a regular part of their foraging routine and route. In stage two, the reward basket opens when birds land on the perch, exposing them to the sound and the vibration of the crow box in action. Birds are really skittish, so this helps them get used to it. This is where things get interesting. In this phase, the crow box sits closed and automatically dispenses training coins onto the food lid. Crows must deposit the coins into the slot in order to open the food lid. Ideally, in this phase, the birds experiment with the machine and the coins until accidentally discovering the relationship between the two. Finally, at stage four, the box doesn't do anything until the birds find and deposit coins that they find elsewhere. It doesn't do anything for them, it just sits and waits. This is the end goal for the entire process. So far, we've gotten wild corvids up through stage three, and experimenters from other projects seem to have gotten them to do the entire shenagle, including depositing crushed soda cans. With our more flexible, ruggedized design, we're hoping that more experiments can be run on many more populations. Not every corvid community is the same. They're an incredibly intelligent, diverse species. Figuring out how to train them reliably is gonna take a lot of experimentation. That's where you come in. I've spent almost half of my life trying to figure out how to change the way that human beings interact with animals, particularly those that live close to us. What I've realized is if we're gonna do it, we have to do it together. The crow box works with captive crows, and anecdotal evidence suggests that wild corvids can do it too, but the real value is improving and optimizing it for wild populations. If we can convince crows or other corvids to pick up coins in exchange for peanuts, who knows what else we can do together? If we can create a replicable platform for autonomously training these birds, we could work with them in any number of ways rather than just trying to kill them by sorting electrical components, gathering garbage, search and rescue, who knows what else? I invite you to join us in discovering new ways to relate to these amazing birds. Download and assemble your own crow box, improve on the training protocol, and join the community. Together, we can prove that corvids aren't just another pretty bird, but are potentially our partners in redefining how human beings interact with other species.